Hey again, and welcome back. Another download for you now, a weekend edition, sort of a little breathing room from the crush of all the week's news. Well, just in time, too, I say. Well, this week's submerging financial markets gave us a great excuse and a lame segue for our first story today. Australia's Great Barrier Reef, our starting point, as it is for Australian researchers who are now taking an inventory of life among the coral. Well, it turns out there's more there than any, anyone ever knew. In just the first year of what's called the Global Census of Marine Life, biologists are now discovering dozens of new species, many of them different from anything yet seen. These new species, some are species which um, people were, uh, have never seen before because they're, they're cryptic, they live in, in environments that people don't tend to look at. Well, they're looking now, and what they're discovering is often as rare as it is beautiful. There are new fan corals, jellyfish that seem to glow from the inside, and sea slugs that look more like, well, modern art. Uh, all this just one year into the project as well. The global census of marine life continues to the end of next decade. Can't wait to see what else they find. Well, to an item that we saw earlier this week and just loved, didn't have a chance to fit it in, however, until now. Uh, this taking us to the streets of Bangkok, Thailand. Unemployed elephants and their mahouts who used to log the forests. Well, that before the government banned elephant logging. Yeah, but you know, life in the city is frankly no life for an elephant. Well, enter the Anatara Golden Triangle Resort in Thailand's north. Now, basically, it's a retirement camp for elephants and their mahouts to live out the rest of their lives with their families. Uh, elephant and human, that is. Now, in addition to providing ridiculously cute images like this one, the camp is also generating money as a tourist destination, giving visitors the chance, among other things, to see what it's like to see the world from an elephant's perspective. It's like you feel very high, and then it's just like, like this when there's them. And when they're trying to walk fast, it's very scary. But it was good. It was fun. Elephant eye wheel. <laughs> and elephant eye bath in the river, it seems, as well. Careful there. Uh, in the end, the elephant retirement camp is one of those stories, actually, where everybody apparently wins. Tourists get the ride of their life. The mahouts can preserve their lifestyle and remain with their beloved elephant. And the elephants themselves? Well, they seem to be doing just fine. Okay, undiscovered beauty of the sea, check. Uh, elephants living out their lives in peace and comfort, check. Idiots risking life and limb in new sporting craze. Well, here's what I would say. Kids, don't try this at home. Uh, but you know, chances are you can't anyway. This is extreme taken to extremes. It's called swooping. And I'll call that a wedgie. Uh, swooping is parachuting done with extra small parachutes. Apparently these allow jumpers to fly with extreme speed and control. Or so they would have you think. Well, that guy seems to have it down. Uh, the idea is to come as close to the ground and fly over it as fast as possible. Whoosh, all without breaking your neck. Uh, and you know, if ponds weren't nuts enough, swoopers are now flying down mountain passes, above jungle rivers, and any old place. Whee! Uh, so it's official. The download now has its first official insane sport. Swooping! Uh, actually looks kind of fun. Well, that is your download for now. I'm going to swoop on out of here. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you again real soon. Awesome.